Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about decision making under uncertainty and attitude towards the risk. And topic we will cover today, meaning and example of choice under uncertainty. And we will see one numerical example of calculating EMV. EMV means the expected monetary value. And we will also see attitude towards risk in which we will talk about three type of risk preferences. Risk aversion, risk lower and risk neutral. So choice under uncertainty means we have to take decision when we are not sure about outcome. Choice under uncertainty means we have to take decision when we are not sure about outcome. For example, investor may need to choose between two different projects because he is not sure about outcome. Similar, homeowners need to choose between whether he should purchase a home insurance or not. You have to choose between to buy lottery tickets or not because you are not sure about outcome. It will be called choice under uncertainty. Now, with the help of this numerical example, we will clearly understand how to take decision under uncertainty. Here we have a different investment project option A1, A2 and A3. And P1, P2 and P3 are expected payoff or we can say the expected outcome from each investment project. Why we use expected? Because we are taking decision under uncertainty. We are not sure about outcome. We just estimate outcome based on some factors. And expected payoff from A1 project is 150, 300 and 400. And expected outcome from A2 project is 250, 500 and minus 100. Minus 100 means we expect our outcome in negative. And expected payoff from A3 project is 0, 270 and 230. And here we have probability of each outcome. Probability means possibility of each outcome. And the possibility of P1 outcome is 0 0.45. And possibility of P2 outcome is 0 0.25. And possibility of a, a P3 project is 0 0.3. First of all, we will calculate expected monetary value of each project. And which project have a high expected monetary value, we will select it means we will invest on it. But question is that how we will calculate expected monetary value. Formula of calculating expected monetary value or we can say the formula of calculating EMY is X1 into P1. Here x1 is a, a first expected outcome, p1 is probability of a first expected outcome plus x2 into p2, x2 means a second expected outcome and p2 means a probability of a second expected outcome and so on means number of expected outcome we have based on this we will calculate EMV. First of all we will calculate EMV of A1 project. And first expected outcome of uh, A1 project is 150 and probability of uh, this uh, outcome is 0 0.45. That's why 150 multiply with 0 0.45 and second expected outcome of A1 project is 300 and probability of uh, this outcome is 0 0.25. 300 multiply with 0 0.25. And third expected outcome from A1 project is 400 and probability of uh, this outcome is 0 0.3. 400 multiply with 0 0.3 and when we solve this it will become equal to 262.5. Same way we will calculate EMV of A2 project. First expected outcome of A2 project is 250 and probability of this outcome is 0 0.45. 250 multiply with 0 0.45 plus second expected outcome from A2 project is 500 and probability of this outcome is 0 0.25 that's why 500 multiply with 0 0.25 plus third expected outcome from A2 project is minus 100 minus 100 into 0 0.3 0 0.3 is the expect uh, probability of uh, this uh, minus uh, minus 100 outcome when we solve this it become equal to 207.5 same way we will calculate expected monetary value of a3 project 
here you can see a1 project have a highest expected monetary value that's why we will select our a1 project because a1 project have a highest expected monetary value and this will be called decision making under uncertainty decision making when we don't have so much information when we are not sure about outcome now we are going to talk about attitude towards risk in which we will talk about three types of risk preferences first is risk aversion second is risk lover third is risk neutral one by one we discuss about each first of all we are going to talk about risk aversion these people avoid risk that means the risk aversion people don't want to take so much risk for example risk aversion person will put their money on low interest rate saving account rather than investing on high risky stock market that's why these people have diminishing marginal utility as their income increase because at higher income they scare more to invest because they focus more on marginal loss rather than focusing on marginal gain now we will see marginal utility of risk aversion with the help of this diagram and we will calculate its expected utility also in this diagram on x axis we have money income and y axis we have utility this ou curve shows diminishing marginal utility of risk aversion you can see initially when income increase 10 to 20 utility increase from 45 to 65 here change in income is 10 and change in utility is 20 again income increase at same rate from 20 to 30 but now change in utility is 10 utility change from 65 to 75 so here you can see as income increase utility fall is marginal utility fall and this curve shows diminishing marginal utility of risk aversion initially our equilibrium point is b at this equilibrium point income of risk aversion is 20000 and its utility is equal to 65 now someone give him give him some investment proposal if he will gain from this proposal then his income will increase from 20 to 30000 and his utility will increase from 65 to 75 but if he bear loss from this investment project then his income will fall from 20 to 10000 and utility will fall from 65 to 45 now we will calculate uh, expected utility of risk aversion and here we assume probability of investment gain as well as probability of investment loss is equal to 0.5 so formula of calculating uh, expected utility is eu is expected utility p uh, into ul plus p into ug here ul is a utility from loss and p is probability of this loss ug is a utility from gain and p is probability of this gain now we will put all values in this formula and uh, here our probability is 0.5 and 0.5 that's why here we put 0.5 and 0.5 and here utility from loss is 45 means when his income will reduce from 20 to 10000 he will uh, his utility will become equal to 45 and utility from a gain is a 75 means when income increase from 20 to 30000 utility will become equal to 75 so here we put value this is probability and this is utility from loss and this is probability of loss and this is utility from gain and this is probability of gain when we solve this it will become equal to 60 so you can see 60 is less than is current utility is current income is 20000 current utility is 65 na but uh, here uh, 60 come so we can say that his uh, this utility is uh, uh, less than from his current utility so we can say during this time period if someone gave him investment proposal he will feel less satisfied he will feel uh, less happy because he is more focusing on marginal loss rather than marginal gain that's why his utility will less than his current utility so we can say that marginal utility of risk aversion will fall as his income will increase now we are going to talk about risk lover 
दीज पीपल लव्स टू टेक रिस्क दीज पीपल टेक मोर एंड मोर रिस्क एज देर इनकम इंक्रीज दैट्स वाई देर मार्जिनल यूटिलिटी कंटिन्यूस इंक्रीज एज देर इनकम इंक्रीज बिकॉज दे फोकस ऑन मोर मार्जिनल गेन रेदर देन फोकसिंग ऑन मार्जिनल लॉस इन दिस डायग्राम यू कैन सी बी इज इनिशियल इक्वल बिरम पॉइंट एंड दिस कर्व शोज इंक्रीजिंग मार्जिनल यूटिलिटी ऑफ रिस्क लवर्स एंड बी इज इनिशियल इक्वल बिरम पॉइंट एट दिस पॉइंट इनकम ऑफ रिस्क लवर्स आर ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड एंड देर यूटिलिटी इज फोर्टी थ्री नाउ सपोज सम वन गिव इन वन इन्वेस्टमेंट प्रपोजल इफ दे गेन फ्रॉम दिस इन्वेस्टमेंट प्रपोजल दैन देर इनकम इंक्रीज फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी थाउजेंड एंड यूटिलिटी विल इंक्रीज फ्रॉम फोर्टी थ्री टू एटी थ्री बट इफ दे लॉज फ्रॉम दिस इन्वेस्टमेंट प्रपोजल मीन्स इफ दे बेयर लॉज फ्रॉम दिस इन्वेस्टमेंट प्रपोजल दैन देर इनकम विल फॉल फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी टू टेन थाउजेंड एंड देर यूटिलिटी विल फॉल फ्रॉम फोर्टी टू फोर्टी थ्री टू ट्वेंटी नाउ वी कैलकुलेट इज एक्सपेक्टेड यूटिलिटी एंड हेयर वी एज्यूम प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ लॉस एंड गेन इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव सो जीरो पॉइंट फाइव इज प्रोबेबिलिटी फ्रॉम लॉस एंड ट्वेंटी इज यूटिलिटी फ्रॉम लॉस वैन ई रिड्यूज वैन इज इनकम रिड्यूज फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी टू टेन थाउजेंड ही यूटिलिटी विल बिकम इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी एंड प्लस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव इज प्रोबिलिटी फ्रॉम गेन एंड एट्टी थ्री इज यूटिलिटी फ्रॉम गेन वैन वी सोल्व दिस इट विल बिकम इक्वल टू फिफ्टी वन पॉइंट फाइव एंड आवर न्यू इक्वली बिरम पॉइंट इज एच हेयर यू कैन सी इज यूटिलिटी इज फिफ्टी वन पॉइंट फाइव विच इज हायर दैन इज करंट इन्वेस्ट करंट यूटिलिटी सो वी कैन से दिस इन्वेस्टमेंट प्रपोजल गिव इम हायर यूटिलिटी एज कंपेयर टू इट्स करंट यूटिलिटी why his utility is higher because they, these people are risk lovers they want to take more risk that's why as their income increase their marginal utility also increase now we are going to talk about risk neutral risk neutral are indifferent to risk means this person neither focus on marginal gain nor on marginal loss that's why their marginal utility remain constant as their income increase in this diagram you can see this ou curve shows a constant marginal utility of risk neutral initial equilibrium point is b at this equilibrium point their income is 20000 and utility is equal to 80 someone give him investment proposal if they gain from this investment proposal then their income will increase from 20 to 30000 and utility will increase from 80 to 120 but if they bear loss from this investment proposal their income will reduce from 20 to 10000 and utility will reduce from 80 to 40000 we will calculate their expected utility and here we assume probability of gain and loss is equal to 0.5 0.5 multiply with 40 40 is the utility from loss means when their income fall from 20 to 10 utility become equal to 40 Plus 0.5 multiply with the utility from gain means when their income will increase from 20 to 30 thousand, utility increase from 80 to 120. When we solve this, it will become equal to 80. You can see this 80 utility is equal to their current utility. So here their marginal utility will uh, means marginal utility will remain constant. That's why their current uh, utility will equal to their expected utility because these people are uh, risk neutral. These people don't focus on too much uh, on uh, gain or loss. So this is all about uh, decision making under uncertainty and uh, attitude towards risk. I think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. Take care.